previously on Astral Chain. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. We're going back into a boss fight right away. It was maybe a little bit of a mistake to end where we did last time because we're going to have to get reoriented really quickly. Luckily, we got uh, the chain bounce right away and just ricocheted him off the chain. This boss really tests your ability to do that and to react quickly. It's one of those situations where if you don't know about that mechanic because you skipped the training, ooh, this is going to make it so much harder than it needs to be. You can get up around 10, 15% of his health every time you do this. Oh, we got the butt rock kicking in. Now when he does this, he'll summon these little purple obelisks outside of the red field. You can't cross the barrier. Your legion can, so you send the legion to attack them to disperse the barrier. So I know Enceladus was one of the giant children of Gaia uh, that one of Saturn's moons is named for. Oh, by the way, when he starts, whenever you see purple, you really want to send the legion to disrupt that. Because he is charging something nasty up. Uh, yeah, one one of the Saturn's moons is named for it, but it also sounds like insalato, which is the Italian word for salad, and that just tickles me. <laughs> uh, so this boss, he does a lot for being a first boss, and he really taxes your meter quite heavily. This is the point at which you should probably be realizing that this is a really heavy meter management game. He'll hit your legion uh, and drastically reduce the meter. But also, he just requires you to have the legion out a lot to deal with some of his attacks and his mechanics. And of course, it's just a lot of your damage output as well. Like, look how much of a chunk. Ooh, whoops. Oh, and we're knocked down, so this is probably going to be a follow-up hit as well. Nope. Oh, the crumbling floor down to the floor below. Like a Tekken stage. And the boss only gets harder in the second half as well. You have this. Dodge of the circles. You can get some good hits in too. Fuck that up just a little bit. As he's sweeping across. No follow-up explosion. Uh, can't get the Legion out in time. That's fine. He'll probably do it one more time. He tends to do a bunch of these in a row. Oh, it's so good. And the, the length of time that you have to hold it. It gives the boss a sense of weight and power. That you're just not easily knocking him around the place. Like, you really feel the mass of this thing, of, of Enceladus. Let's see, we're about a third of the way through the meter. Building back up, so we dismiss it. Oh, it's this. He's just going to bombard the arena. You can get around that pretty well, but... It was in a bad spot for that. There's just a lot going on in this fight. It's really fun and chaotic. Now we have to dismiss him before... Yeah. Because I think you get an extra penalty if you go down to zero. Like, it takes a little bit longer for the Legion's meter to recover. Speaking of recovery... Taking a couple hits towards the end of this fight. To be expected. Think we could get through that? Nah, not quite. Could have, just didn't time it perfectly. Yeah, there aren't a lot of freebies. There are not a lot of freebies in terms of dodging. Really have to get the timing right. It's uh, a lot less lenient than something like Witch Time. Oh, this attack is fun. Uh, you just don't want to be too close to him, because the lasers will eventually spread out and give you a nice wide gap. You just have to be far away. We recovered, send him far in. Oh, he w didn't quite have the range. And yeah, good, 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 good. Still got hit by the follow-up explosion, shit. Means our rank is gonna be pretty poor for this fight because of uh, 
Just how many hits we've taken and how much medicine we've had to use as a result. That's fine, that's to be expected. This is a game that, especially early on in the game, it's a little bit hard to, to get high ranks. But as you get more tools, that becomes a little bit easier. It's often the case with uh, character action games, actu actually. The early missions tend to be the hardest to uh, do well in, as far as the rankings. Oh right, I have to flick the stick for that. Uh, to get him to just charge. Dismiss him so he doesn't take the hits from the barrage and then circle around. Not going to be stupid about that one this time. The reason that I kept getting hit by those horizontal, like, crosshatch lasers is because I kept trying to dodge forward through them towards the boss. And you can kind of do that, but it's really, really sketchy. You're better off sometimes just going backwards, even though... It, you get a little bit less offense in, and we are good! Oh, that's a fun first fight. I mean, technically, the tutorial one is a little bit of a boss, but this is a proper fight. It's a good shit. When Akira told me you got pulled through the gate, I nearly lost it. It's a good thing you held it off that long. Oh, Jesus, you're gonna be the death of me, you know that? Well, I can't say you look good, but damn, you're tougher than I thought. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty cool line coming from someone who just damn near cried their eyes out. I... I was not crying! Hey, guys, guys. Look around. Who'd have thought the gates led to a place like this? <sighs> you ever feel like you're somewhere you're not supposed to be? Channel from that side, I can get through to you. And the multi scanner works too. 
The visuals are pretty noisy, but they'll do in a pinch. So, that's it, huh? The Chimera's home turf. Hmm? Heads up! I'm picking up signs of life right nearby. I can't get a read on any IDs, but I think it might be some missing people. Switch on your iris and check it out. All right, people. Let's go. My whole body feels heavy. I can't even begin to guess what we might find here. We are in absolutely uncharted territory. If we're freaked out, think of how those civilians must feel. Time to gut it out, people. So this is where they do something pretty interesting. They make you a rookie. They play this very much like a shonen battle anime instead of the usual character action thing where you're the dopest and the strongest right off the bat. They start you at the bottom of the ladder. You're a rookie. Whereas most character action games, you're Dante, you're Bayonetta, you're right near the top of the ladder from the get-go. You have a little bit of room for growth, but in narrative, they treat you like you're the coolest and strongest right away. You're not struggling in those games as a character. But here they give you Max, they give you this mentor character. They kick you around a lot. They have characters talk down to you. You have your you have hard limits. They don't even give you the kill on that boss fight. You get saved and you don't get the kill. So Max is kind of your your goal. He's someone you aspire to be in terms of power, in terms of capability. Again, very shonen. Someone. They look hurt. Neither of them have any major injuries. Olive, I'm sending you my scan. Can you get a read on their corruption levels? Just a sec. Okay. One's at 5.18, the other's 4.86. They're still below the Chimerification threshold. If you get them out quick, we can save them. Great, let's get out of here. Olive, where's that gate? I can't find anything. There's too much dimensional distortion in the vicinity. You're going to have to go back to where you fought that Chimera. they come from Ugh. Ugh. this is bad we're almost out of time Akira you keep everyone safe okay you come with me let's take these bastards out Let's go! So now everybody is kind of being afflicted with the redshift corruption. We're having to escape this, and we have this big impediment. We can't even fight to our fullest. I can barely sprint. We're weakened, and it's gonna get much worse in a second. trying to wrap him before there we go and can bounce him back nope cuz
Olive, the override release command. Hurry! No use! The override release isn't going through! That's impossible! Things have gone from bad to worse, and that's going to be where we leave it for today. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.